Hey you guys, welcome back to the another pe- episode. Oh god. Hey you guys, welcome back to another episode of the Arts to Arts podcast. I can't believe that I am saying this over for 200 episodes now. We are in the fourth season. We are in 2024 already. I remember when I started this podcast, I thought let's see if I can do even 50 episodes. And if I take it that far, I'll see what to do about it. We are over 200 episodes in. Three years, already three years, we spent with this podcast. So many of you have listened. So many of you have supported us. Been with your year with us. I really don't know what to say. I generally, like always, like not generally actually, like always. I don't have a script to share with you. So if you're watching this on YouTube or you're listening this on Spotify or any of your favorite streaming platforms, know that I do not have. anything i'm just sitting here and just reflecting and thinking about what's happened all of these years you know i really have a very exciting um feeling yesterday you know something that i felt like i sometimes how life takes you uh for all the losses i felt in all these years i've also feel like I, there's so much that i've gained um arts to heart started as a simple blog like you know just an instagram feed I wouldn't say I never had an intention to make it something out of it. I always did in the sense that you know sometimes you feel that there's something that you could do but you never know that if that would be possible or if you would be able to go for it. Like I'm a person of ideas. There's so many ideas at one time for me in my head that I don't know how many of those I can really make true. You know, that's a problem to have actually. Looking back how we started as just just as an instagram how even when i say we it was particularly just me you know i just started this as an instagram post and and i thought maybe one day i will make something out of it um a lot then happened a lot of you already know and i did make something out of it yesterday i was holding in my hand a book that we've been working for far too long i Let me see if I have a copy of it around me, but I'll show you around anyway. If it's here, it's not here. Okay, so yeah, that started as something I never thought we'd be able to publish books, and I j- I did share that yesterday on my Instagram as well and on Arts to Arts Instagram that, you know, I couldn't even imagine. I just couldn't even imagine that, you know, how um, a few years later now I would be publishing books. We'd be running. um an arts company a publishing media company a community platform uh let alone um you know anything else i mean i remember i still remember the feeling when i thought um i wanted to be an artist and i can still feel that that naivety i thought oh my god what am i doing um will this ever make sense i remember when i started to really start things with arts to hearts i had this huge imposter um what do i have to share um there's so many people who are way more talented way more experienced than i am who am i to you know start this do this create these opportunities publish these books and i'm so glad i didn't listen to myself i'm so glad at so many places i really didn't listen to myself because if i would have i probably wouldn't be doing this episode and honestly i mean It's fourth of January. I'm recording this. This episode needs to go out today, but then we sent out another one because I couldn't really record this on time, and that is how life sometimes get. Um, I have been feeling extremely, you know, um, you know, typically confused about how these goal setting things have been working for people, and they haven't worked for me as much. I've realized that I need to find my own rhythm. That. you know i do not want to f- uh, fall back again in this race where i feel i'm not good enough i want to i don't really want to hear this voice again sometimes it's good because it helps me push myself but also remembering that it's just a voice it's not who i am and that i value i matter the work that i do and that everything thing takes time to build and you know when i had this 100 artwork books it's a gorgeous golden foil book that we you know we are publishing and i'm very excited we did this big project in 2023 that was one day in my head then on a sheet then with my team and then now we have a whole book of it right in our hands it's been a journey honestly and you know 
with the new year coming in i know we all have a lot of different feelings i i'm sure um it's just not me a lot of us have very mixed feelings about the new year um the cold setting and you know and i just wanted to share my thoughts with you on that as well before we go into the episode because which is something i will be talking about but just the goal setting part where i feel like um we feel like the world is moving forward everybody's meeting their goals they're doing this and suddenly we feel like we're on this clock that time is running that maybe i'm not doing enough that oh if i didn't make my goals as yet um i probably wouldn't be able to get far enough i wouldn't be able to get things but i do understand these goals are extremely important but i cannot cannot emphasize enough on the fact that if you do not find goals that are aligned with you if you do not have th- that kind of clarity and with i clarity i'm not saying that clarity is going to come in a day or two it takes time it takes a lot of questioning self uh, you know self inspection uh, a lot of inner reflection for us to figure out okay who we are what our goals and the goals that we're talking about are not the goals that i want to achieve in the 12 months it's the person i want to become and you know i did and i did you know in what's surprising is that i did try a lot of those things um but i figured when i look back today you know there's this formula that i've been working on my own where i truly understand now okay this is what works for me i love goal setting but it's traditionally not the goal setting that you'd hear from other people it's not what the books say it's not what you know the smart goals and that goals and that goals i said this in the email that i sent to our newsletter you know a couple of days ago where i did also share about the artist you want to become a uh, workshop that we are doing and i'll share this here as well you know i want to do the goal setting the artist way because that's what really brought me this far when i started um arts to hearts i didn't think about numbers i didn't think about anything instead every day there was always this visual image in me where i thought you know i saw myself as someone who was creating these things for me the process of creation has always been such a big driving force that i wanted to create these new projects i wanted to travel this or i wanted to have a gallery that looks like this or i wanted to have um so many different things and for me that image that you know that feeling that alignment of how i see myself living and creating in that you know place and what is that what is that um, word that you know comes with me am i creative and creative has been i want to live a creative life has been like a theme for me always i every day every year my goal is to live a little bit more of a creative life a little bit more a little bit more create more create differently and you know i was sharing this with my partner the other day like you know how there are so many thoughts and ideas in my mind like you know how i want to you know there's so many like you know so many exciting things i want to create a hotel i want to do this you know design houses and farms and stores and i don't know and even though they seem far fetched today i know that i was exactly feeling the same thing a couple of years ago while i was thinking i could live have like you know an artist and a creative want to know life and i have started walking down that path and it's definitely not easy it's definitely taken a lot of time and there are days where i feel too overwhelmed but i'm also very grateful to be here i'm very grateful to be able to do this to be able to um really make a living in an industry that i love um to be able to work with people and artists that i really look up to um or just people who inspire i think that's extremely uh, motivating for me as a person and every day now also for me ever since uh, you know we have set this mode of um, goal setting and intention setting i i have intentionally started to sit down and think about the person i want to become not just one year from now but 5 years 10 years from now who is that person um i do not want to write okay this is what i want to become i really want to close my eyes and really truly imagine okay this is the person i want to become i want to be this person who lives this wonderful creative life who 
who really experiences freedom for me freedom of thought the freedom to create the freedom to speak my mind this has always been one of you know important um important factors for me it's extremely important for me to exercise and build a life where i truly can feel that kind of freedom or feeling home these are so many things that have you know always come up in my own personal practice as an artist but also the life that i want to create so yeah i think um, i've been able to make progress and i know that that's a long road but i really really love this exercise where i can truly like if i remove all of these and i encourage you if you want to join me right now as well you know just close your eyes just close your eyes and ask yourself okay what do you really want your life to look like what kind of artist do you want to become what kind of things do you really want to create and if there were no like expectations and judgments and there was no burden on your shoulder firstly you have to like just imagine you putting uh you know putting that weight off your shoulder on the ground and you suddenly feel that relaxment and no expectations and no jobs and no responsibilities what would your life look like what is that person that you want to become who that person is how she talks walks creates what she creates how she laughs how she touches what brings joy to her so there's some extremely important questions to answer and i know that it does not come easy and it does take a lot of letting go of our own limiting beliefs because i know i've been there i am still there there's so many days when i push myself out of that comfort zone that okay i know i is it me or is it just the society's expectation that i'm projecting on myself and i figured that when i really identify between like see through this process of this is me this is what i thought i wanted but isn't what and i've i've seen that those goals that have felt way more aligned to me have come to me a lot faster um or i have had a lot more perseverance than goals that i thought okay people wanted to me and i thought i wanted but i lost my way because you know it didn't matter as much so we are doing a seven day workshop um on the artist you want to become um it's an immersive workshop we'll be sending you i will be sending you seven emails there will be three live calls we'll send you workbooks uh and a few recordings of exercises like this the one that we just did and few of my own learnings and experience on how i like to do this and you know it's it's a it's i wouldn't say this is a workshop i feel like it's like a it's like a meditative process i feel like goal setting doesn't have to be overwhelming and i feel like we do not have to approach as artists um them the same way that um, you know other people do there are tons of people who teach you the practical goals you can do a quick youtube video and see how you can make smart goals long goals but for me i really want to work with people and together i want all of us to envision who we want to be the word that we want to associate the energy we want to associate the life we want to create and so i'm running a program of 7 day which is called uh, the artist you want to become in 2024 and we'll work together these seven days with three live calls where i'll answer your questions but also uh, hear from you hear your dreams and we will together spend some time to get more clarity to get a plan together um an energetic plan an energy that can get you through uh the year an energy that will become your north star an energy that will become your guiding point an energy that will make you feel at any time you feel lost uh, that will make you feel centered in home that's what the intention about this workshop is so if you really want to um start a year with me um and really give yourself the time to think about the artist you really want to become um there i think just a week more for us to start we start on the 15th of jan we exactly have uh you know only a few days so if you're interested make sure you um make sure you <laughs> if you're interested make sure that you send us to hearts project on instagram a dm 
on the artists you want to be uh, programmed just just message us artist 2024 and we'll send you details you can also email us artist 2024 and we can send you details otherwise you can go to www.artsroadsproject.com slash artists you want to be and you'll find the details there anywhere that you like now for this episode i am very very grateful for your support so far i truly am it really makes uh a life so much so much more beautiful and beautiful where we i get to share i it's so it's so important like you know the, i love the podcast that i do and sometimes it gets so much with the life that i live but i truly 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 love uh, sharing these conversations having these conversations learning along with you and sharing my own thoughts and if you really did i hope you join me for another ride for 2024 but this will this time will take it further i have a lot of new things on my mind and i don't want to go too much into it we'll slowly and steadily ease into it this is the first episode of the year i just wanted to check you check in with you and see how you're feeling about it that's it i'm sending you lots of my love and i'll see you next year Oh god and I'll see you I'll see you soon what is wrong with me next year look at me this is not the end of 2023 this is the beginning so I see you in the new episode bye